just highlight this. The difference between spiritual and unspiritual community is not whether a conflict exists, but rather in our attitude towards it and how we approach handling it. So it's there. It does happen. And it doesn't make us unspiritual if it's happening. It's how we deal with it, whether we are spiritual or unspiritual when it comes to our communities and our churches and, and people around us. When conflict is seen as an opportunity to draw more fully on spiritual resources, I think we've make it, we have the makings of a spiritual community. How we handle conflict, that determines the level of our spiritual maturity. We talk about maturity a lot. I believe God's wanting us to be more like Jesus. I believe maturity is the goal for every individual that God has, for every one of us. But you know, friends, the way we can tell whether we're mature or not is how we handle conflict. Immature people handle it badly. Mature people handle it well. So if you want to know if you're mature or if someone's mature, how do you handle conflict? And I think it exposes a whole lot. Conflict can be good, as I believe, as we share our ideas. Think about what we believe and the way we do things and present our case for our position. This can be done if, and I believe only if, we handle conflicts correctly. What makes or breaks relationships and what makes or breaks churches is what we choose to do in conflict. Not because we have it, what we choose to do in it. And I believe we must learn how to walk in love while dealing with conflict. 